welcome dear students to this program today we are going to discuss from class 9 mathematics book chapter 10 about circle part 3 in previous class we discussed about the angle subtended by a chord at the center and we learned that the equal chords subtend equal angles at the center today we are going to discuss about the perpendicular from the center to a chord so what is the relation between the perpendicular drawn from a center to a chord and the chord itself this can be stated in a theorem like this the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord read it again the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord so what is the figure the figure is like this a circle named s is there with center o so we can write that a b is a chord of a circle with center at o and o m is perpendicular drawn from center o on a b then we have to prove that o m bisects a b that means a m is equal to b m as we know to prove two line segments to be equal we need two congruent triangles so what are the congruent triangles here as we see here we have two triangles a o m and b o m what are equal in these two triangles see a o and b o are the radius of ready of the same circle and o m is common to both the triangles and a m o is equal to b m o as o m is perpendicular to this so these two angles are 90 degree so we can prove that triangle a o m is congruent to triangle b o m by right angle hypotenuse and side congruency as two triangles are congruent so their corresponding parts are also equal so what are they a m is equal to b m by corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal now let's see if this is the proof of this theorem in this case a b chord is bisected by the perpendicular drawn from the center now what what will be the converse of this if a line from o bisects a b will it be perpendicular so the converse of this theorem is stated like this the line drawn through the center of a circle to bisect a chord is perpendicular to the chord so let's see this is the figure s is the circle o is the center and a b is the chord and a line through o is drawn such that it bisects a b so we can write that a b is a chord of a circle with center at o o m line bisects a b at m then what to prove we have to prove that o m a and o m b are 90 degree that means this o m is perpendicular to a b to show that these two are perpendicular these two must be equal as they are linear pair so we have to prove their congruency congruency of two triangles that is o a m triangle and o m b triangle so let's see the proof here in triangle a o m and triangle b o m what are equal a o and b o are radius of the same circle and again o m is common to both of them and here also it is given 
that AM equal to BM as OM bisects AB. So, here three sides of one triangle are equal to corresponding sides of the second triangle. So, triangle AOM is congruent to triangle BOM by side 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 congruency. Then by CPCT means corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we can show that angle AMO is equal to angle BMO. But to these two angles, angle AMO plus BMO is equal to 180 degree as they are linear pair. Sum of these two angles is 180 degree and both are equal. So, it must be equal to half of 180 degree that means 90 degree. So, angle AMO is equal to angle BMO that is 90 degree. As these two angles are 90 degree, so we can say that OM is perpendicular to AB. Thus, we prove that bisector of AB through O is perpendicular to AB. So, we learned these two theorems. Now, let us have some problems to solve through these theorems. The problem is like this. Prove that the center of the circle lies on perpendicular bisector of its chord. So, we have to draw a circle and a perpendicular bisector of the chord. So, a chord is there. A, B, O is the center and let L is any line perpendicular to this perpendicular bisector of this uh, chord AB and let it uh, bisect it at OM. So, given that AB is a chord of circle with center at O. L is a perpendicular bisector of AB. Then to prove O lies on L. So, before going to prove this O lies on L, let us prove that any point on this line L is equidistant from A and B. So, we can write if take a point P on L. Let P is a point on L. This implies if P is a point on L, let us draw P A and P B and draw P A and P B. Now, in triangle P A M and P B M, what are equal? You see, A M is equal to B M. Number two is our P M is equal to P M is common. Here AM, BM is given and the third condition is angle PMA is equal to angle PMB as L 
is perpendicular to AB. Now, as these conditions are satisfied, this implies triangle APM is congruent to triangle BPM by RH S congruency. Next is our what are then equal then AP is equal to BP. This shows that any point lies on this line is equidistant from A and B. And we know as AO is the center, as O is the center of circle, so OA is equal to OB. As again O is equidistant from A and B, this implies O lies on L. Thus, we proved that the center of the circle lies on perpendicular bisector of its curve. Let's have another problem. O is the center of a circle. If D is the midpoint of a chord AB, then show that OD bisects angle AOB. So let's draw a circle. O is the center. AB is the chord. D is midpoint of AB and OD here OA and OB are drawn. So what is given here given that O is the center of the circle and AB is the chord and D is its midpoint. What to prove? To prove OD bisects angle AOB. Now you see here we have two triangles. We need to prove the congruency of these two triangles. So here in proof, let's take as you see D is midpoint of AB. So AD is BD, OD is the common side and OA, OB are both are the radii of this same circle. So we can write in triangle AOD and triangle BOD we have OD is equal to OD that is common side OA is equal to OB that is ready of the same circle and AD is equal to BD as D is midpoint of AB. This implies triangle AOD is congruent to triangle BOD by side 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 congruency. Now as these two triangles are congruent their corresponding parts are also equal. So this implies triangle AOD angle AOD is equal to 
angle B O D. Now you see this is due to by corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now you see AOD and BOD are two adjacent angles and they constitute the angle AOB. So you can write OD bisects angle AOB. This is the proof of this problem. Let's have another question. O is the center of a circle. AB and AC are two equal cuts. Show that OA bisects angle BAC. Let's see. This is the circle. And O is its center. AB and AC are two equal cuts. We have to show that OA bisects this angle BAC. That means we have to show that OAC angle and OAB angle are equal. So what is given? Given O is the center of the circle. AB equal to AC, these are chords and what to prove? To prove OA bisects angle BAC, that is angle B A O is equal to angle C A O. We have to prove this. So let's have a construction here. Draw perpendicular from O on A B that is O M and another perpendicular on O C that is O N. So we can say that the construction is like this, draw OM perpendicular to AB and ON perpendicular to AC. Now let's see the proof. Now here you see to prove these two angles to be equal, we need to congruent triangles and here the congruent triangles are AMO and ANO. Before going to prove the congruency, let's show that AM is equal to AN. As OM is perpendicular to AB, this implies M is midpoint of AB that is better we write AM is equal to BM equal to half AB. Similarly, ON is perpendicular to AC. This implies AN is equal to CN equal to half AC. As AB is equal to AC, this implies half AB is equal to half AC, that again implies half AB is equal to AM, so AM is equal to half AC is AN, AM equal to AN. Now let's prove the congruency. In triangle AMO, and triangle ANO, what are equal? AM is equal to AN, AO is equal to AO is 
कॉमन एंड एंगल ए एम ओ इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए एन ओ दिस दिस टू आर नाइंटी डिग्री एज दिस टू आर परपेडिकुलर टू रेस्पेक्टिव कॉर्स सो दिस शोज दैट ट्राइंगल ए एम ओ इज कॉन्ग्रेंट टू ट्राइंगल ए एन ओ दिस इम्प्लाइज सो एज दिस टू आर कॉन्ग्रुएंट बाई आर एच एस कॉन्ग्रुएंसी दैट इज राइट एंगल हाईपोर्ट न्यूज एंड साइड कॉन्ग्रुएंसी ना एज दिस टू आर कॉन्ग्रुएंट ट्राइंगल्स सो दे आर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट्स आर इक्वल सो यू कैन राइट ए एम ए ओ एंगल इज इक्वल टू एंगल एन ए and what is mao mao is same as bao so we can write angle bao is equal to nao is same as cao angle cao but these two angles are adjacent angles and ao is the common side so from this we can say that ao bisects angle b a c thus we proved that if ab and ac are two equal chords then oa bisects angle b a c let's have another question prove that the midpoints of two parallel chords of a circle and center of the circle lie on the same line so let's have a circle a circle is there we center say at o let's draw two parallel lines one is ab and another is say cd we have to show that midpoint of ab that is m and midpoint of cd that is n m n and o lie on the same line so what is given o is the center of the circle ab and cd are chords such that AB is parallel to CD. M and N are midpoints of AB and CD respectively. Means M is midpoint of AB and N is midpoint of cd to prove m o n lie on the same line now you see to prove this let's have a construction that is draw a line parallel to ab through o say x y so the construction is like this draw a line x y draw better we write draw a chord x y through o such that x y is parallel to ab now we have to prove now join 
OM and ON. Now as you know that AB and XY are parallel and OM are, is the line joining the midpoint of this chord AB and center. So OM is perpendicular to AB. So we can write O M is perpendicular to A B as M is midpoint of A B. Again, A B is parallel to X Y and M O is the transversal. Then what happens if this is the transversal? If M O is the transversal, then co interior angles are supplemented to each other. This means angle A M O plus angle M O X is equal to 180 degree. Out of which M O is 90 degree. So 90 degree plus M O X is equal to 180 degree. That gives angle M O X is equal to 90 degree. Now similarly, as we know, as AB is parallel to XY, this is by construction, and AB is parallel to CD, then we can say that XY is parallel to CD. Again, ON is the transversal. XY is parallel to CD and ON is the transversal. So, we can write angle XON plus angle ONC equal to 180 degree. Here again you see we have as O N is the midpoint, as N is midpoint of C D, so O N is perpendicular to C D. This implies angle O N C is equal to 90 degree. So from this we get that angle O and C equal to 90 degree. Now put here, so angle X O N plus 90 degree is equal to 180 degree. That gives angle X O N is equal to 90 degree. Angle X O N is 90 degree and angle M O X is 90 degree. Now you see the adjacent angles are supplementary to each other, so they are linear pair. This implies angle XON plus angle MOX is equal to 90 degree plus 90 degree, that is 180 degree, as these adjacent angles are supplementary this implies mn is a straight line this implies m o 
n lie on the same line m n. Thus, we proved by using the theorem that the midpoint of two parallel chords of a circle and center of the circle lie on the same plane. Dear students, today we discussed about the line drawn from the center perpendicular to the chord bisects the chord and the bisector of chord uh, through the center also perpendicular to the chord. Dear students, this is time now to conclude. Have a good day. Thank you.